to the right you can see um, a page uh, from a botanical uh, book that I have embellished with some calculure and I have added uh, for more texture um, a piece uh, of uh, um, book binding with some lace. Here there is a, um, a small shallow pocket that I made of, uh, um, of um, the cover of uh, a um, French business directory from 1940s. Another thread card, still different shade of blue. Here there is a scrap from an antique catalog. Here to the right, there is a tuck spot from antique uh, lace. And inside, I have included an antique postcard with this lovely image and some uh, gorgeous antique, very delicate blue lace and silk. Some collaging. This is also an authentic uh, antique paper. Here there is a, a tuck spot from some antique upholstery uh, fabric, another page from an antique book. Here there is a tiny belly band from antique uh, uh, laundry ribbon. And this is also an antique card. Here I have embellished this uh, um, vintage ledger paper with a jelly print of a rose. Here on this spread you can see an antique document in very nice blue color. And uh, um, to the right there is uh, uh, an, an extract from a Paris guide from 1940s that I have embellished with this lovely image. At the back, there is another gorgeous marbled paper. There is a small collage for making which I used uh, authentic uh, antique uh, um, papers. To the right, another, another page from the Paris Guide from 1940s. Uh, here to the right, there is a small tuck spot that I have made using elements from an antique thread box. I have added a small glass button which is also very old and this tag here for making it I used uh, um, the, a leaflet from the famous French perfume shop. It's a, it was a modern leaflet uh, from Fragonard with this lovely image that I have added some uh, um, some gold, some craquelure, this uh, um, antique silk and I have made a small flower from silk velvet as embellishment and here you can see I believe it's the same box uh, thread box that uh, I used for the tuck spot and the paper behind is uh, uh, another antique ledger from 1850s, I believe. On this page, I have made a double pocket. Um, I printed on tracing paper an image of Toile de Joie from the personal collection of uh, Anne Rogers that I found on internet. And... Uh, um, on the borders, I have added um, some Toile de Joie from my own collection from the 18th century. It's very subtle, but to the left here, if you look carefully, you can see a face of an angel. I have added some hand stitching and inside the pockets I have added some uh, antique uh, papers, another page from the French, uh, uh, from the Paris Guide from 1878, 
that we have seen at the beginning. From this side, there is an antique postcard and a scrap um, from an antique uh, um, lace catalog book. By the way, this color was there and I really um, I really liked how it fit with the all the color scheme of this journal. Yes, the ledger uh, the ledger paper that you can see here is from 1850s. There is uh, uh, here an extract from a vintage uh, French uh, uh, songbook from 1840s. A small element from the thread box that we had before another page from the um, from the vintage Paris guide here there is a, a big belly band with this lovely image of a bird this fabric might be modern I do not remember To the right there is a small tax spot and I have included here an authentic antique uh, swatch uh, or sample page. On this page here there is a small tax spot with an image from uh, um, one of the books uh, uh, from my collection. It's uh, a modern book. Here we have another uh, antique uh, billet d'honneur and uh, a French wine label uh, from 1995. At the back, uh, um, this is uh, uh, an original antique uh, um, page uh, from uh, a diary. Here there is a <clears throat> an authentic antique, uh, uh, how is it called, piano uh, paper. In fact, I have folded this paper like this. Here it can be opened behind. I have included some, some old papers and uh, a journaling card. All these papers are antique. At the back, there is an antique uh, um, lace book page. I have just uh, punched the border and I have added some scraps from an antique book which could be used for journaling and they are attached by a thread with an antique pearl button. Of course uh, this uh, paper can be easily taken off. Here there is a, a vintage document. I have sewn it from two sides so it can be used as a tuck spot. On this page to the right you can see an antique uh, uh, photo of a young man which was taken in Paris and I wanted the back of this lovely photo to be visible as well. Um, here there are scraps uh, uh, from um, uh, vintage uh, men's garments from uh, 1930s or 1940s, I do not remember. Another button, Mode de Paris, and a small scrap of antique uh, um, fabric.
here at the back there is another French wine label from 2002. From this side there is another tax pot. The paper is modern. It's one, uh, it comes from one of my books. Um, but here to the left there is an antique strip from... Um, it, it, it was used for decorating uh, hats. Another journaling card at the back. Here there is a page, uh, I, I believe it was a cover from, uh, um, from an embroidery uh, magazine. Behind I have put uh, this uh, um, blank document from a Paris office uh, related to um, reparation of piano, something like this, and a fussy cut of an armchair from an antique um, collection catalog. Here to the right you can see this lovely lady image. I cannot remember where I took it from. I believe it was publicly available on internet. Mm, I printed it on acetate. I used uh, um, elements from an antique photo album and I have made this small rose from antique uh, very delicate blue tuile. Here you can see a small tie from uh, silk. At the back there is an antique notary document. To the right there is a page from an antique book this scrap here is uh, um, it comes from the lining of an antique uh, lady jacket with an antique button. At the back there are two tax pots also made of uh, antique uh, lace work unfinished. A page uh, from uh, a vintage magazine. At the back, uh, uh, a botanical book image. Here, there is an authentic antique pocket calendar from uh, 1899. The, this page is from um, a sewing studies uh, notebook. And this is one of my favorite spreads. I really love this dress. It comes from a vintage fashion magazine from 1950s. I just fussy cut it, fussy cut it. And uh, here I have created a kind of swatch card. Here there is a, an antique embroidery on silk. I believe it's even pretty at the back. In any event, it's, it's better preserved at the back some silk velvet modern very delicate antique what is it tuile and uh, a scrap uh, of antique silk and this paper is an authentic antique uh, order blank order something like this at the back there is a sewing scheme. On this page here I have made a very simple collage of a dress image. It's from Stamperia collection. And I have added this word heureuse, which can be translated as happy. Yeah, for me, the notion of happiness and uh, beautiful dresses, they go very closely together. To the right, this is uh, um, a, um, um, an antique uh, meter and a page uh, from a vintage uh, diary from 1930s. Some stenciling. an antique uh, uh, fabric scrap. Here I have added some antique lace 
and uh, uh, to add interest this uh, vintage uh, underwear hook and here i have made an ephemera wallet using one of the tutorials by dorothy jane thank you very much dotty i will include below the link to her tutorial a small journaling card a perfume label a scrap from an antique ledger with some stamping an antique playing card and another journaling card with a champagne label behind the wallet there is a, a vintage bank check from 1930s yes here we can see i have used uh, a, an image from a modern magazine with madame Ombry olympia of gouges who was a famous french um, feminist already in the 18th century there is another antique embroidery on silk of uh, forget-me-nots and uh, on purpose i have attached it like this for you to be able to admire it at the back because i find it is equally pretty at the back and this is the end on the last page i have included a page from an antique book saying adieu à paris well adieu it's kind of sad I would prefer see you soon, Paris. I have added a scrap of very fragile antique embroidery with the small mother of pearl button and uh, my signature. This is actually the first of my journals which I signed like this. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye bye.